What socks to wear with what shoes? Coming up. Welcome back to my channel. Through my channel, Busby Style, my goal and mission is to help women just like you who are busy juggling life look like you have your act together even if you don't. Today, I want to break down the sock dilemma. I have gotten this question so many times. What socks do I wear with those shoes? What socks do I wear with those boots? Socks, socks, socks. I'm breaking it all down. I'm gonna make it easy for you guys so you don't have any more questions. Let's do it. Okay, so first I wanna just address sandals, open toe sandals or peep toe booties. There's a lot of stuff with toes showing. Can you wear socks with those? There is a trend happening in fashion right now where people are wearing a very thin, slightly scrunched sock or mesh sock with pumps or sandals. Can you do that? Absolutely, you can. If you're cooler than I am, you certainly can. <laughs> I don't feel like I can do it, but you might. You might feel like, yes, I'm gonna rock that all day long, and you have at it. Essentially, that's going to be taking a little thin sock like this, and it doesn't have to be black, it could be white, it could be, like I said, mesh. Essentially, it looks like that. Traditionally, with like a mule or a sandal or a peep toe booty or anything where toes are exposed and the back is open, you are going to wear bare feet, no socks, okay? So that's number one. Number two is the ballet flat. What do you wear with a ballet flat? Because it is short in the front, it's not that tall in the back, it shows a lot of your foot. What the heck do you wear? You're gonna do something like this. This is a little ped with a bit of spandex in it and all of these peds traditionally have a little tiny bit of rubber at the heel so then that sort of keeps it in place. Do these always stay in place? 100% no. In fact, they usually kind of slip down past your heel. The sticky part helps. Um, another thing to consider when you're picking out your pet is, you know, like this one, the shoe has perforations. So I would do a color that is similar to the shoe. And also I would look for a ped, and I'll put a link to some below. Look for a pair that only has like 3% spandex, not 50% spandex. Because the more spandex that's in the ped, the more slippery it will be. And if it's more like nylons or stockings, then it's gonna make your feet all sweaty. This is one with like 50% spandex, and you can see right through it. Yeah, you can see, it's like pantyhose, see? I think that's uncomfortable. I think it makes your feet hot. So you look for the pair with just a little bit of spandex in it like this one. I like the brand Keds for these pets. Uh, again, because of the blend, just a little bit of spandex and more cotton. So that covers ballet flat and what sock do you wear under the ballet flat? Okay, next I want to address the ankle booty that's short. So here's three examples of ankle boots that I have that are all around the same size. Here's a black pair, here's another black pair, and here's a tan pair. So with these guys, what I would do is I would wear a short crew sock. So you see this sock here, how it has just about an inch and a half at the top here. So it's still shorter than the booty, but it's going to stay up. You know, you don't have to worry about pulling it up or the heel falling down like you would with those little ped socks that I just showed you. So I really like these crew socks for the booties and I have a ton of them because I wear them all the time. I also like to wear them with slippers around the house. It's just my go-to little sock. And this one is by the line Hue, H-U-E. However, if you want to, there is nothing wrong with wearing a marled or heathered sock with a booty and a shorter jean. Like, there's no problem with seeing like just a little tiny bit or a sliver of your sock. So I could do either these or the gray version of these with my black booty and then the jeans, you know, that come up to 
like right here. So you're only seeing about one inch of the sock. And if the sock's black or this really dark gray, who cares? I mean, it's, it looks totally fine. Don't sweat that. So if you really want to wear a longer sock, this is the way to go. Now, I wouldn't go too long because especially if you have skinny jeans on, the socks are going to bunch up underneath your jeans. But a sock this height is fine. And then if you want, you know, to make sure that they're extra warm, you look for a pair with wool in the blend. One of the premier brands for that is Smart Wool, but you can get wool blend socks at Target on Target.com. I'll put some links below. And I bought a bunch at Target.com and they're great. And I have the Smart Wool ones and they're great. And I have UGG ones and they're great. So just look for the blend with some wool. Now, what if you have a taller boot like these? You can go short crew, you can go the longer crew like I just showed you, or you can have a little sock peeping out the top. There is nothing wrong with that. It's a cute look. I could do something like this. Yeah, just like a little peeping out with your jean. Super cute. So you could do something like that, but I would say when in doubt, just go with a sock that falls somewhere below the top of the boot and you're fine. Or tuck the sock into your jeans so that the jeans hide the socks and then obviously you put your jeans into the boots. So that's what you do with the taller boot. You can do the same thing with your rain boots, your really tall rain boots if you want to have a boot sock with those. They're the really cute hunter boot socks or just a sock a little bit peeping out and scrunched. That's a cute look also, have at it, do it. You can have a contrasting color or a very complimentary color, up to you. Okay, so I hope that helps you guys with your sock shoe boot dilemma and makes it a lot more clear. Let me know if you have any questions. Did I miss a shoe? Did I miss a boot? There's always the possibility I did and you guys will let me know. I'll put some links, suggested links below for you guys to check out. Don't forget to pop over to the blog and subscribe to my newsletter so you get those two free wardrobe basics checklists and a lookbook full of styling and beauty tips and outfit ideas. And I'm also gonna add a packing list to that as well. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel too. Give a thumbs up to the video. And thank you guys so, so much for watching. I will see you next time. Bye.